Lori. You sold almost as many cookies as Carol. Yay, Lori! You got way more points than Carol. Thanks, Lenny. But let me explain golf scoring again. Did you pass? No, she did not. She did, however, oh. refuse to obey the speed limit, fail to use her turn signals, and she redirected the test vehicle toward the mall, where she proceeded to hip check and tackle Mrs. Jolinski. It's not fair. When I did all that in the game, I won. You guys need to get your rules straight. We've tried throwing a few surprise parties in this family, but it's always gone wrong, and we all know why. Or should I say, who? Okay, she's coming. Everyone hide. Lenny, what are you doing? Shh, I'm hiding for your surprise party. <sighs> Siblings, I am perplexed as to why I have just received an invitation to my own surprise birthday party. Oh, I sent that. I wanted to make sure you'd be there. <sighs> Luna, should I wear the pink or blue dress to your surprise party? Dude, what? I pink, you just blew the surprise. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, you ruined it. Sorry. Wait, who's she? Griselda, the other main character. She's on a quest to the underworld right now. If you guys had watched the show from the beginning, you'd... Why are her teeth all pointy? Wait, his teeth are pointy too. Because they're vampires. Tune in next week for more Vampires of Melancholy. <sighs> that was literally amazing. Totes! This is definitely gonna be our new Friday night thing. Lori, me, you, and Vom. It's Vampires of Melancholia. You came all the way from Sheboygan for a Fluttersly blouse? You should have it. Please, there will be other culottes. Send me a picture. I wanna see how those gaucho pants look on you. This is a great find. I wish I had time to browse the racks. Oh, well, why don't you take it? Uh Oh, I couldn't do that. This is all you have, and you've been waiting in line for so long. It's okay. I wouldn't even be shopping here if it weren't for people like you working so hard. I'm Ms. Carmichael. I'm the manager of Reininger's, and I've been hearing such wonderful things about you. You know, we could use a sales employee with great customer service skills. Great. Let me think about it and get back to you with some names. <clears throat> Oh, you mean me. Hours are flexible, and employees get a 50% discount on all merchandise. It's like there's a blowout sale happening in my heart. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, stop by whatever to fill out paperwork. I'll see you back at home, guys. That skirt would look great on you. And it also makes a cute poncho. <gasps> you just changed my life. <clears throat> uh, Lenny? Hi, Mrs. Carmichael. How's the monthly inventory going? Not great. Several scarves have gone missing. Can you come with me? Are we going on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> there was no scavenger hunt! She thinks I stole the scarves! What? Why would she think that? They were all from my department, and they all went missing in the month that I've worked there. So she said she had to let me go. And I said, go where? And she said, that means you're fired! <laughs> Cute top. And did you know you can also wear it as a pencil skirt? Oh, Lenny, I can't apologize enough for accusing you of stealing those scarves. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Hmm, are there any sweaters I can fold? These are my two best friends at school, Jackie and Mandy. And these are my two best friends at work, Miguel and Fiona. Hey. Oh, hi. Lenny, we bought so many cute shoes. With money to spare for the pop-up sale this weekend. Yes, pop-up sale! <laughs> Sounds like you guys have a lot to talk about. I should mosey. Yeah, me too. But we'll see you tonight, Lenny. See you at seven. Wait, you're hanging out with those guys tonight? Well, yeah. Is that bad? It's fine. I mean, I can't remember the last time we spent a Friday night together, but it's fine. Wait, what is all this? Ham and scallion scones with lemon herb chev? My fave breakfast. Ice chai latte with organic coconut milk? Did we die and go to retail heaven? Good morning, fashion makers! Lenny, did you do all of this? Just a little something to help my fave friend employees to get through the day. Store funager. What's a funager? This gal right here. Like a manager, but fun. I'm gonna make sure work is totes amazing. Well, you're off to a great start. I'll say. <gasps> I need to <laughs> 
Miguel, I need you at the cosmetics counter ASAP. We have 10 seniors who need your phenom makeup skills. Fiona, I need your creative flair at the gift wrap counter right now. Mm -hmm. That was a good day. Well, I'll be horsewhipped. This is surprisingly airy. Oh, thank you so much, Lenny. I'm gonna come here for all my fashion emergencies. <sighs> the service here isn't so lousy, and that's high praise coming from Scoots. Always appreciated. Bye, Scoots. Coach Nibbles, I have something to confess. The person who you saw playing golf earlier wasn't Lori. What? It was me, her sister Lenny. I was worried about Lori going away next year. So I dressed up like her and pretended to be awful so Fairway wouldn't want her. But now I know that just because we'll be far apart in distance doesn't mean we won't be close. I'm sorry for what I did. Can my sister still have her scholarship? So, Lori, do you still know how to use this? For sure. Well done! Go, Lori! Lenny, can I see you in the back? Sure, but first, can I interest you in a new floral fanny pack? Oh, sorry, Mrs. C. I can't turn it off. Yay, cake! Is it my birthday? You, Lenny Loud, are Reiningers Employee of the Month. It's my birthday and I'm Employee of the Month! <laughs> it's just the second one, Len. <laughs> Attention shoppers! I mean, siblings. Here's the deal. We're gonna wait in line and everyone's gonna get their turn, okay? <laughs> so how can I help you today, ma'am? Well, my concoction is currently corroding the living room floor. Hmm. We have some lovely water that would do a great job of stopping that burn. Next! Our movie I was can't way stop thinking about way what too scary! Let's see if we can get you folks into something a little less terrifying. And the caterpillar turned into a beautiful butterfly. <sighs> that hit the spot. Okay, A file about zoning laws. Another one that goes under A. Uh, uh, Great work, Lenny. How are you liking the internship so far? Oh, M gosh, Mayor Davis, it's the best. I learned how to fix a copier. Dang it, the copier needs toner. Ooh, I just got a great new toner. And I got a lipstick you'll love. Lenny, you are a hoot. From now on, my campaign is just about fun new ideas, whether I win or lose. Swearsies. Oh, you're weak, loud. And a big congratulations to Teresa Davis, who has won a very close race to be re-elected mayor of Royal Woods. <sighs> hey, hon. Your mom and I just came to say we're so ding-dang proud of you. But I lost the election. Sure, but you realized staying true to yourself was more important than winning. In that case, I'm proud of me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're a fully licensed driver. Thank you so much. Ew, that picture's a no. I'll text you some you can use instead. Ah! Lenny, I am so proud of you. You did it, you actually drove here. I know, I'm proud of me too. Turns out I could do it all along. I just needed a little confidence. It was pretty scary, but totes worth it for this hug. And Tanya helped me. Oh no, I forgot. Come on, Lori, we didn't stop at any rest stops and Tanya really has to pee. Come on, Tanya, to the restroom. Hey, Gavin. So my friend Lenny thinks you're kind of neat. She's my bestie, so treat her well. Or they'll be serving Gavin on a stick here. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nice boats. Are the shoes fresh? Boy, that episode of Dream Sauce, huh? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yep, today could be the start of a whole new life for Lenny. The ABCs of being a CEO. Miss Loud, you're the head of a fashion company, the best-selling author of Taste the Flan, and a role model for young women. To what do you attribute your success? Well, I really owe it all to my siblings. See, there was this two-day blowout sale. 